Hey guys, what's going on? Adam from Exotics. Welcome back to the channel. If you are new, please do me a favour. Please subscribe to the channel if you don't mind. Please smash that like button, leave a comment. Don't forget to turn the notification bell. That way you won't miss a future video. So guys, welcome to today's video. I hope you're all doing very, very well. Um, I hope your season's going absolutely fantastic. Uh, if I can not drop this camera, that would be absolutely amazing. Um, so today's video, guys, uh, as the title suggests and the thumbnail, we're going to clean up clutch number three. You saw me cut those eggs in the last video where we hit the bell. We're really, really happy about that. That one's already pre-sold already. They go so, so quick because it's so very, very popular, especially in a, like a reptile shop setting. So that's good news. So guys, we're going to take a look at the, um, I said the cleanup video. We'll give them a bath, let them get a bit hydrated, get all that dirty vermiculite off them and then we'll set them up in individual tubs. So kick back, relax, and enjoy the footage. Okay guys, so this is clutch number, I forget now. Uh, I wanna say clutch number three. Yeah, clutch number three. So this is going on from the last egg cutting. Yeah. So we're gonna do a clean up video again. Um, and the reason we do clean up videos is because of that. They get, let me just take that old egg out. They get absolutely, um, covered in vermiculite um, and they don't look very pretty and it got stuck to them and it's a bit horrible so we give them a nice little bath gives them a chance to get hydrated it gives them a chance to get the muck off them and it gives us a chance um, to have a look at them a bit better and see what we possibly have now this looks like a pretty easy clutch to identify so we'll get them in the water and we'll have a look at them closely uh, and see what we get. Okay guys, so we'll put them in one by one. They'll have a nice little swim. Some of them go a bit crazy when they hit the water, but um, in general, they're pretty chilled. So I can untangle this one. So we'll put them in. You don't want the water too deep, but you want it deep enough so they can actually have a little swim. Good thing about snakes is they're automatically programmed to hold their breath underwater. Um, really good swimmers, even pythons. Really good swimmers. Not designed to be in the water, but look at that motion as they go. They know exactly what to do and how to swim. Okay, shut that box out of the way. Come around this side. Okay, so pretty clear cut, clear cut, clear cut to what we have, I believe. Um, those two on the left there, um, I'm going to wait for a shed or two for those because they could be one of two things, but we'll go through that shortly. Hopefully you can see them all in the shot there. Um, the camera's a bit wobbly because my floor board is a bit wobbly. There you go. Okay, so let's start from the bottom. So we have a normal, really pretty normal. Pairing was a um, pastel um, butter to a pastel lesser enchi. No enchi in that, that is just a normal, albeit a really pretty one. You never get sick of hatching normals, and I, I really do honestly mean that from the bottom of my heart. It's just nice to. It's a nice feeling when you condition your animals. You you know you spend the majority of the year getting them ready, breeding them, um, and then you know them having eggs and incubating those eggs and and seeing that little baby come out for the first time. It really is a magical feeling, um, and I applaud anyone to have a go at breeding these amazing snakes just so you can get a little bit of that um, joy that it brings me because it really is absolutely incredible. So that was the normal. This one here is an Enchi. And I'll try and get um, both in the same shot. And then you can see the difference between the two. This one wants to stop wiggling around. There you go. So you can clearly see the difference in not only color, but the pattern as well. Really like Enchi, it's a really nice gene. That's all it can be um, from the pairing. Um, it's not pastel. Um, so the only other thing it can be is an Enchi, and that's what it is. So 
So next up we have a single gene. Oh, sorry. Um, it's a it's a butter or it's an or it's a, a lesser. I'm going towards lesser for this one. Um, although they're pretty much the same thing, let's be honest. Um, but again, maybe a shed or two will give me a bit more of a clue. Um, don't think there's inchy in that. Well, it's not inchy in that. I know that. Um, I don't think there is anyway. Inchy can throw out really different patterns. It can be really obvious or it can be a bit subtle. But I'm pretty confident that hasn't got inchy in it. So as it stands, I'm saying it's just a single gene lesser. Really nice. I love it how the white bleeds up all along here with his blushing. Really cool. Okay, we'll show you this one next. Um, this is obviously the blue eyed cystic, or the bell as they're known. Now, at this stage, I don't know if there's anything else in there. Maybe a black light will give me a bit of a clue if there's any pattern in there, but it literally is a white snake. Um, Always the challenge when you're breeding stuff in the in the bell complex, you know, the, the butters, the lessers, the Mojaves and things like that. And when you mix other genes, it's always going to be a bit difficult to to see what you've got. This is actually a male. I was going to keep it if it was a female, but it is actually a male, so he will be available. And I will try, obviously, as he gets a bit bigger and a couple more sheds, I will try and actually... Um, try and determine whether there might be something else in there um, either using a black light or something like that um, but we know for sure that he's butter and we know that he's a lesser whether there is inchy in there I don't know maybe we'll never know until he's bred out but blue eyed cystic who doesn't love white snakes Okay, so brings me to the last two of this clutch. Now I'll show them both together because they're pretty much the same. I think they're the same thing. They look pretty much identical. This one is a little bit lighter, but... All right, okay. So hopefully you can see that all right. Um, I think that, well, this one here, let's start with this one. Let's put that one down. This one here, here, this one here is a pastel. It's either butter or lesser, and it's enchi. Typical enchi pattern. That's the sort of enchi pattern you'd, that you'd expect to see. The one that's really recognisable. Um, just not sure on whether it's butter or whether it's lesser. It's definitely one of the two. And it's definitely not just a, a single gene butter or lesser and an enchi. So pastel is in there as well. Nice bit of green in the eyes. Absolutely stunning. And then the other one, pretty sure that's Enchi as well. Let's see if we can get it to stop squirming so we can see that pattern. There you go. Yeah, that's Enchi too, all day long. I mean, patterns like this, how it bleeds through over the dorsal into the next one, that's really indicative. Well, that's a big word for me. Um, of the Enchi, Enchi gene. So again, that is another pastel butter or pastel lesser Enchi. So a nice little mix in this clutch. We got a bit of everything. We hit everything really that we could have hit in the pairing. So textbook sort of breeding really, textbook results. Um, none of these would actually be um, held back these are all going to be available um, just don't need anything I may keep one of the probably maybe this girl or maybe this one actually should be a bit nicer um, but pretty much everything will be available um, obviously once they're feeding once they're big enough I'd make sure my snakes have had five consecutive feeds before they leave me um, and what that basically means is if it has four feeds and then misses the fifth, it starts again. Just the way I do it, it's the way I've always done it. Um, that way, especially being in a, a shop setting, 
um, you know, I'm a lot more susceptible to angry customers um, and complaints and things like that. So I really want to make sure and try my hardest to actually ensure that my customers are getting a well-established um, snake that's feeding great. Um, and there'll be strike feeds as well, so not drop feeders. There'll be five consecutive strike feeds. That way, when they leave me, I know for sure that they're in good condition, feeding well. And the new owner shouldn't have any issues other than the normal raw python issues that you get with feeding. You know, skipping a meal every so so often, etc, etc. Um, I did actually have another clutch laid today. Um, I've posted the pictures on Instagram already. Um, I didn't film it um, because I couldn't find the plug for this. Um, the, the, I can't think of what it's called now. The ring light, that's it. But now I found it. Um, it's a bit dark and dingy around the back of the shop, so I didn't want to film it without. Um, the light on the camera is just a bit naff. So these are having a nice soak, getting all this horrible vermiculite off. I love white snakes, they're just beautiful. Um, so yeah, I will set them up in the individual tubs, give them a water bowl, nice damp paper towel, and we'll wait for them to shed. All the snakes from the previous two clutches have all shed out now. Um, I will be offering first feeds tomorrow. So we'll definitely get that on camera too. So we can document all of that. But for now guys, that is clutch number three, the pastel butter to the pastel lesser enchi. Guys, there we go. That was the cleanup video for clutch number three. Some amazing looking animals. Um, like I said, I love this time of year, getting to see all these beautiful babies, not just my own, but looking on YouTube, looking through social media and things like that, getting to see the amazing animals that you're producing also. Absolutely fantastic, keep them coming. I do really enjoy seeing how you guys are getting on with your seasons, from people that have been breeding for 20 years and producing worlds first, to brand new people, you know, producing their very first clutch. It's all really exciting to me, so keep that content coming, and I promise to keep mine coming. But having said that, do me a favor, please smash that subscribe button and that big bell thing up there. That way you won't get to miss a future video of mine. Let's get that support going for each other. So guys, that's gonna be it for today's video. Again, thank you very much for taking the time out of your day to watch. Um, any questions, like I say, I always say it, please leave a comment down below. Email taexotics at gmail.com. Free the website, www.taexotics.co.uk. Um, but that's gonna be it, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Your support means the absolute world to me. You guys are awesome. So until next time, guys, stay safe, and I'll see you soon.